This brief tutorial quickly shows how to create a database in Microsoft Access. When you start Microsoft Access, this is the home screen. All we're going to do is choose blank database by double clicking on it. And when that comes up here, pay close attention to your file name and the location where the file is going to be saved. I always recommend changing the default folder and putting this in a location that makes the most sense for you. And in my case, I'm going to create a new folder today. And I'm going to call this tutorials. Inside of my tutorials folder, I'm going to call this Dr. Wolf's College Database and hit OK. Once this comes back up, I'm going to confirm everything looks good for the file name and the location. I'll click Create. And that was the act of creating the database. And I'll just verify, making sure everything looks good on my computer. And I'm going to go to my Documents folder that I just created. And I'm going to look for that Tutorials folder in my Explorer. And I'll see that I have an ACCDB file here uh, indicating that that's my Microsoft Access file. Uh, that's for my database. So now I have a blank database. When it starts up, you'll notice that it has a table one automatically. Uh, and this view here is actually best if you change it from datasheet view into design view when you first start creating your first uh, entity, your first table. Uh, a lot of times when this starts up, I just close it and you'll see it goes away. Uh, and then I'm able to go to my create tab and start building my structures. Uh, that's all in this short video. You now have a database. The next steps will be to create your tables uh, and to um, set relationships and then start putting in data. Uh, we'll cover those in future videos. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to put them in the co uh, comments below. Feel free to subscribe to my channel or reach out directly to me at uh, professorwolf.com. Thank you.